Hi, this is problem 13 from the AMC 10A. Looks like a wordy logic puzzle. Let's see what we have. Five friends sat at a movie theater in a row containing five seats numbered one through five from left to right. Yada yada. During the movie, Ada went to the lobby to get some popcorn. When she returned, she found that B had moved two seats to the right, CC had moved one seat to the left, and D and Edie had switched seats, leaving an end seat for Ada. In which seat had Ada been sitting before she got up. So this is probably not your usual high school math problem. And uh, for these types of logic puzzles, what I try to do is take this information and try to reduce it to some kind of drawing or figure that I can kind of wrap my head around. Now, in all AMC problems, you'll notice that the, the words they usually provide uh, suggest some very obvious symbols. So we're going to use A, B, C, D, and E to represent the five people in the problem. And uh, I don't quite know what their arrangement is, but let me just draw something out to try to get started. So I'll just draw A, B, C, D, E out in the normal order and try to organize some of this information. So one thing I really notice here is that D and E D had just switched seats. So that's kind of important because it doesn't look like much is happening between D and E. If they just switch seats, that really doesn't affect how the other seats can be arranged. So it looks like that kind of takes D and E almost out of the problem in a way. And I notice here that uh, we find that B had moved two seats to the right. So I would write B and just a little symbol here that she went two seats to the right. CC had moved one seat to the left. So I write C, one seat to the left. And then the question is, well, what did A to do? So that's kind of a question mark here. And what I notice here is that since uh, they're occupying the same three seats, ultimately, if B is moving two seats to the right and C is moving one seat to the left, what that means is that A must have moved one seat to the left. And if she moved one seat to the left, it means that the open seat that was remaining for her in the end must have been on the left-hand side. And the only way she could have achieved that final seat location was for her to be in the second seat before she moved. So that quickly leads us to the answer of this question. In which seat had Ada been sitting before she got up? It must have been seat location number two. Anyway, a good logic puzzle that the uh, usual high school math curriculum just doesn't prepare you for. So you need to practice these types of questions for yourself. Anyway, good luck with that, and we'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.